Hi, this is Tom with your Fitness Quest, and today I'd like to talk about sports drinks. I'd like to pose the question uh, if, if they're really necessary, and if so, when is the ideal time to use them? A lot of people associate sports drinks as being a healthy alternative to soda pop, uh, but that's not necessarily the case. I've got with me uh, the two most popular brands, uh, a Powerade here and a Gatorade. Each of these, if you drink the whole bottle, which most people do, is going to be 200 calories. So if your your goal is to lose weight and you're choosing this because it looks like a healthy alternative, um, you're just drinking 200 calories immediately, and so that's not always the best option if you're just doing it to be healthy. Um, I'm not trying to bash sports drinks with this post. I think they serve a, a purpose. There's definitely a time and a place for them, but a lot of people just assume that it's it's the healthy way to go, and that's not the, necessarily the case. Um, the most important factor in determining if a sports drink is right for you or when you should have one is what type of activity you're doing. If you're going to the, the gym and running on the treadmill for half an hour or lifting weights for you know 40 minutes, um, you don't need a sports drink for something like that. You're going to want a sports drink when you're doing high endurance activities, um, things like running a half marathon or a marathon or an Ironman, or maybe if you have like an all-day tennis tournament out in the sun, or if you're on a long all-day hike, things like that where you're really going to get... Uh, um, lose a lot of liquid, a lot, a lot of uh, electrolytes and, and from sweating and a lot of fluids. Um, sports drink can help keep your muscles from cramping and replenish those electrolytes so it can be beneficial and that's one of the reasons that uh, those are good to have. One other thing that might be uh, helpful is sometimes if you're with kids and say you're outside a lot and they are uh, like on a long hike and you're concerned that they're going to get dehydrated. Um, sports drinks because they're, they're uh, sweetened and they taste better, kids are more likely to drink those and so that's one benefit, although they're not as healthy um, with the calories and the, the I guess the sugars and things like that that, that are typically in them. Um, there seem to be quite a few new uh, drinks and gels and things coming out on the market and they always have a great athlete or celebrity who's endorsing them so that also appeals to people um, so they've been marketed really well but still the best drink you can have uh, when you're exercising is water and you should drink water before, during, and after exercise to maintain uh, proper hydration and that'll help you a lot. So again nothing against sports drinks uh, but you just want to make sure that you're not assuming you're going to be healthy or a better athlete or uh, get in better shape just because you're drinking one of them. It can actually be detrimental if you're not doing it at the right time. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to keep you posted with some more videos down the road. Thanks.